as a shovel foreman. Today we're changing out a stick cylinder on our 685 D-Mag. It's one of the harder cylinders to change. What, uh, what time does it take typically to perform this job, Mark? It's taken anywhere from a full 12-hour shift, sometimes it drags into two shifts if it doesn't go well. What's the main concern, Mark, with doing the job typically in the length of time you described? Uh, usually it's trying to get the barrel end of the cylinder pinned to the superstructure because we use our 980 with the sling and try and just get the barrel end up in to pin it and it's hard to control the cylinder to get it up in there and lined up. Where with this machine it's actually went probably 20-25 minutes to get the barrel end lined up to put the pin in to the superstructure. What was the benefit that the Manitou solution brought to your job today? Just more control of the cylinder to put it up into place. Like if you wanted to go up an inch, you could move the cylinder up an inch. Like you did have to work with it a bit to get it into place to make sure it was lined up in the superstructure. That wasn't caulked, but you could still feather it forward, feather it back to get your pin lined up. Whereas doing it with the sling, you boom up to go for an inch and you end up getting six, or you try and move, boom, move, boom down a little bit on the loader you know, drop four inches so you can spend a lot of time trying to line the pin. How did the Manitou solution increase the overall safety today? It made it so when you pulled the pins in the cylinder, the cylinder was fixed when you pulled the pins. You weren't guessing at the balance point of the cylinder. 
So the cylinder stayed stationary when you pulled the two pins and then you could let it down. When you do it with the sling, you're trying to guess the balance point from experience and sometimes it'll swing one way or the other. Even though everyone's clear, you have the possibility of when it's swinging, it may come loose or this is just nicer it was a fixed. At the end of the day, how does this benefit the overall uh, performance and, and operation? I think for changing cylinders, it'll make it a lot quicker and more efficient, as well as safer. Because when you go to do a boom cylinder, which usually takes a full day, I'd say you'd be able to have that down to, say, six, eight hours, once you get more familiar with the machine. And there'll be more efficiency and more safety.